I love the following catchphrases. Make your mark. Jump at the chance. You do you. It ain't over till it's over. It's just a matter of time. (laughs) I'm not sure why I am enamored of these simple statements, apart from their positive messages they inspire. Sometimes this shorthand version of coping with our feelings is a quick method of moving forward. Here's one. Put a spring in your step. (laughs) Well, you know what? Soon it's going to be spring. New starts, fresh eyes, and a way to grow into this new season. Put a spring in your step on this episode of Casting Actors Cast. It's time for another episode of Casting Actors Cast, insights for actors from a casting director. Each week, we show you how to advance your talent and your career with practical tips, advice, and positivity. Here he is, your host, Jeffrey Dreisbach. Well, hello, (laughs) and welcome to today's episode of Casting Actors Cast. I'm casting director Jeffrey Dreisbach with the McCorkle Group in New York. How are you? I hope you're having a good day. Nice to see you here. Listen, if you haven't checked out the website, I invite you to do so. It's castingactresscast, all one word, dot com. And you'll find additional information about the podcast, about me. Um, it's so exciting to see how the audience continues to grow and the response that I've been receiving from so many actors out there. It's just been overwhelming, and I'm so grateful to you. Please listen. If you can take a moment and fill out the form on the website that says dive into the talent pool, you're going to find yourself with a lot of freebies and some really cool stuff. By the way, you just give me your name and your email address and you can leave a comment or a question, whatever you want. By the way, I don't do anything with your email address other than an occasional announcement about an upcoming podcast, perhaps. But if you do fill that stuff out, there are some freebies there. There's a book that I wrote on doing voiceover work. There's also a video called Casting Secrets, What They Don't Tell You. Also on the website are Jeff's Jots with corresponding show notes of each of the episodes. So you can print out the information that I'm providing in each of these patios, these podcast videos. By the way, I'm still doing YouTube. I'm still simulcasting on YouTube. So if you want to see what I looks like, what I looks like, what I look like, wow, when I am uh, doing the podcast, then you can kind of check me out. I think sometimes people get a, a better idea of the information. They get a better sense of the delivery of the information, not just listening to my voice, but also watching me delivering it. I don't know. That's up to you. But it's been really exciting, and thank you so much. If you would take a moment, perhaps, if you get something out of any of these podcasts, I would just really love it if you could go to iTunes and leave a like, leave a review. Um, It just means so much that uh, to me, but it's also getting the word out to other actors who might benefit from some of this information. So thank you very much for that. Here's my shout out to my friends at Actors Connection. ActorsConnection.com slash New York are all online virtual classes. Here's the thing. All of these classes, workshops, and seminars are with professionals working in the industry. So you can have a front row seat with personal attention and feedback, but it's all done virtually. It's all done online. That means you can be anywhere in the world and you can take advantage of some of the classes and the workshops and the seminars that are taking place. It's a whole cool organization. You should take your time, spend some time looking at some of those classes and workshops. Hey, maybe you'll see me in an upcoming class. Wouldn't that be cool? I would love that. ActorsConnection.com slash New York. Hello to my good friends, Colleen and Tony. They're just a couple of awesome people who are doing an amazing job. So here's the thing. Let's get into the subject. Spring in your step. You know, spring is around the corner. I just don't know about you, but I love fall and I love spring. I love the newness of spring. And I always think about spring as a renewal, whether it's for our career or for our personal self. But you know what? I think it's been challenging for a lot of us. I think self-care is something that actors especially don't really spend that much time thinking about. Now, I would hope that you do some level of self-care. I do hope that you're staying healthy. I do hope that you're protecting yourself. I do hope that you're being cognizant of what's going on in the world. Ooh, good word. Cognizant. Ooh, 
Look that up. Anyway, I just want to share with you some thoughts that I had. And this is kind of a lighthearted podcast. This is not meant to be sort of a heavy, informational laden thing. I just thought that there may be some ways to come out of your hibernation um, that we've all been in <laughs> during these winter months and put a little spring in your step. So here are some suggestions that I wish you would consider. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on all of these, but I'm going to share with you some ways that you can consider feeling a little bit better about you, your career, and moving forward in this rather challenging time that we find ourselves in. And I'm not going to number the, I was going to number this, but I'm not going to number that. I'm just going to make these suggestions. I would like you to consider doing something different for your acting skills. For example, might it be time for you to consider changing a class? Maybe deciding that you're going to take a different kind of class, perhaps. Maybe a film and television class. Maybe an improvisational class. It might be time to really reevaluate where you are. Now, you might be working with a trusted teacher or you might be finishing a training program. Now is the time to really take a look at what areas would you benefit from if you were to take a class. Um, another suggestion in terms of doing something different for your acting skills, as I've been really fortunate to be asked to be a judge on this live um, uh, Gosh, how do you call this? I think they're calling it, um, it's a competition using monologues for actors. It's called Battle Act. Isn't that cool? Battle Act. And they, it's a live venue, and it's at uh, the Music Center um, in Chelsea, the Chelsea Music Center. And every, once a month rather, they actually have actors with a full audience. And this is a really cool venue. It's, uh, there's a bar and there's tables set up and it's really, really fun. The Kalinske brothers have put this together. So you might want to check out Battle Axe and see if this is something you might be interested in. It's a way to brush up with your monologue. It's a way to have fun with other actors. And there are professionals in the industry who are also scoring and giving points. So it's a competition a little bit, but it's also just really a great amount of fun for you to participate with your monologue. So that's the idea, doing something slightly different with your acting. Think about ways that you just might benefit from making some kind of a change. Speaking of change, moving on to the next item that you might want to consider to get out of hibernation, changing your appearance. Maybe it's time that you take a look at some new clothing. Maybe it's time that you take a look at the way you look when you look in front of a mirror, maybe a haircut. Um, there may be some style choices that could make you feel better about your appearance. Now, there's a slippery slope, right? If you start changing your physical appearance, like a haircut, for example, you're going to need to consider new headshots. <laughs> so be very, very careful. We're not just talking about change for change's sake. We're talking about thinking in terms of what are the ways in which I have evolved during this winter period and what might I like in terms of presenting myself to others? What do I want to get out of others' perception of me? And so clothes, uh, your appearance, um, working out, walking, dropping weight, adding weight, whatever it is that you want to do, now might be a really great time to assess where you are and then moving toward that particular goal. It can be very small, subtle changes, but it also can be grand sweeping moments that shift the paradigm for you and your acting career should you feel it necessary. All right, let's move on from that. This is sort of a, a hands-on request for getting you out of the winter months and into having a spring in your step, and that's list your goals. Just simply make a list, list your goals. I want you to list the realistic and doable goals, not the lofty fantasy goals that we all have, but much more important to be very realistic about what you would like to achieve in the coming months. Don't be, um, don't undersell yourself and don't go over the top. It really is about a very aware, um, careful list 
that seems logical and right for you for this time. So simply listing your goals is a very, very healthy exercise. I encourage you to think about. Here's one. Make a new friend. You know, we all have our circle of friends. We all have our professional relationships. We all have those dynamics that are taking place. But you know what? Just plant the seed that you're going to make a new friend. You're going to find somebody out there, whether it's in a class, whether it's somebody you see on a daily basis but really have never officially introduced yourself to. I can tell you firsthand that when you extend yourself out there, it changes the whole world. It really does. It really makes your outlook different. And so if you actively decide that you're going to keep your eyes and ears open for perhaps a new friend to come your way, now's the time to do it. Try it. Write to me if you tell me or you think I'm wrong. You can either go to the website, castingactorscast.com, or my email address, castingactorscast at gmail.com. That's all one word. Let me know if you've made that attempt. What happened when you tried to make a new friend? What was the situation? And did it work for you? Now, in addition to making a new friend, here's another doable task I would ask you to consider. I think it's time. I really do think it's time that you create a network database. I really do. Directors that you've worked with, casting directors you've auditioned with, agents that you've met, people in the industry, teachers, really put together a comprehensive list, their name, their email address, even their physical address, their phone number, whatever you can do. But it's time to really assemble those professional elements so that you can on a regular basis, make contact with everyone on that database. I am not kidding. Once a month. Why not? Letting people know where you are, letting people know what's going on with you, really just simply reaching out to others, letting them know what's happening in your life is not only healthy for you, but for all of those people who you've had some relationship with, they, I promise you, appreciate hearing from you. And so make a concerted effort, create a network database. Here's a cool idea, I think. I would love for you to consider traveling to someplace nearby, you know, not traveling out of the country or out of the state even, just travel to someplace nearby that you have never been to before. Like for example, the zoo. Have you been to the zoo? Have you checked it out? Um, maybe you haven't visited this particular park. Maybe there's a beautiful lake on this park and as spring comes around, maybe it's time to take a nice walk around that park that you've never seen but always wanted to do. Changing it up a little bit for yourself is the best way that you can get out of that hibernation head and into the spring in your step. I'm laughing because Pat went to see the doctor and she uh, just a normal checkup. She's feeling fine. And she talked about certain things that were going on with her. And the doctor responded like, well, that happens to everybody. Well, everybody's a little bit down. Um, you know, that little, that little twitch in your knee because when you walk, that happens to everybody. I mean, it was like the doctor was saying, what you're experiencing is something everybody experiencing. And then she said, you know what? I think you should start a hobby. Do something different. Find something that interests you and spend some time doing it. So that's my suggestion. Thank you to Pat's doctor. Start a hobby. Find something that interests you that's outside of the scope of being a professional actor. Something that you've always kind of wanted to, to spend some time on. Maybe it's even like, oh, I don't know, maybe you're interested in, in antique trains. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you love going to antique stores. Maybe you really want to start getting into some home improvement projects. Whatever it might be, simply starting a new hobby is a great way to really get a restart, a reboot on yourself and to feel really good about who you are and what you are all about. Now, back into the business side of things, here's another suggestion I'd like to make. I think it's time to reevaluate your marketing strategy. 
What do I mean by that? Your marketing strategy. Now, we talked just a few ago about the database of all of those people in the industry that you can have a relationship with. What I'm talking about marketing strategy is really deciding what is the best way for you to reach out and make contact with these industry people regarding industry matters. Is it time for a new headshot? Uh, is it time to freshen up your website? Uh, maybe it's time to pull out some new monologue material and try it out with some other people. And so reevaluating now is the time to just take a look at what have I been doing that's worked? Well, continue to do that. Or what have I been doing that really hasn't borne any fruit? Well, that's time for you to make a change. That's the reboot that I'm talking about. That's going to put a spring in your step. Here's a suggestion I want to make to you uh, because I think there's value in this. And that is, I think it's a cool idea to reach out to an old acquaintance. Maybe it's somebody you went to school with. Maybe it's somebody you had a really good friendship and then it just sort of drifted away. But, you know, we have the technology now. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you, Instagram. Thank you, all of the... We really have the ability to reach out to some old acquaintances that we might have had some feelings for or some thoughts about. I'm not talking about rekindling a past love. I'm just talking about reaching out to an old acquaintance and just say, you know what? It's been a long time since we talked. I just wanted to say hello. And then experience what happens because of that. It's like it'll be mind-blowingly fabulous for you to try that experiment, to really go ahead and reach out. See what happens. Let me know. Oh, here's another suggestion I'd like to give you is start reading, uh, start a reading group. I was going to say start reading. Well, you, hopefully you're reading, but start a reading group with other actors. Why not get together with some other actors, whether it's in your class or whether it's a past class or whether you're going to put three or four actors together so that you can start reading plays. You can start reading some screenplays. Have a regular meeting habit where you can really read some new material. There's new scripts on all the time. If you have a group of actors who are interested in being on television, maybe doing some episodic television work, you know what? You can download scripts of Law & Order. <laughs> you can. And there are all kinds of uh, screenplays out there. There's all kinds of pilot episodes that are available for you. Wouldn't it be cool to sit around with other actors and just play around with the idea of these new pieces of material? Okay, here's a strange one. I want you to consider seeing a dentist. I want you to consider seeing a doctor. I want you to consider seeing a therapist. One or all. If one of the above or all of the above, I think those are, this is the time to do that. Making sure your health, both mental health as well as physical health, uh, your teeth. I want you to really make sure that you are feeling good about where you are now. There's no better time to do it. And there's no better way to put a spring in your step than if you do those things. So that's another suggestion. All right, here we're going to move on. These are other suggestions to help you put a spring in your step. I want you to street, treat street. I want you to treat yourself to a guilty pleasure. What does that mean? I don't know. What is a guilty pleasure for you? Are you taking a bubble bath? Are you putting on a candle? Are you listening to Barry Manilow? Okay, maybe not Barry Manilow. <laughs> Whatever. But you know what? It's time that you really treat yourself to something special. Do something just for you. You spend a lot of time concerned about others. You spend a lot of time uh, worrying about a career and worrying about whether you're doing the right thing. Why not just take a moment and treat yourself well? How do you do that? Well, you could just simply gr grab a book that you've always wanted to read. How about watch a movie that you're not really interested in seeing, but you think it's probably a good idea if you see it? In other words, if we just become creatures of habit and we only watch the television shows we like, we're missing out on some really successful projects that are going on out there, and you need to investigate why are you not that crazy about watching this type of show? What is it about it? In other words, challenging yourself, reading a book that you wouldn't normally want to pick up and read is really healthy. 
take a, a, go and find a nonfiction book about something that's of interest to you. History, for example. There's all kinds of interesting things that you can do. So find something that you're really not that interested in and investigate in asking yourself why. Here's another one. Make a new recipe. <laughs> when was the last time you said, I'm just going to try and cooking something I've never cooked before? I think that's a cool idea. Here's one. Visit a museum. There's so many cool, interesting museums out there, places that, or art galleries, places that have um, really compelling artwork and uh, pieces of information um, that have historical significance. There's all kinds of stuff that may be available out there. And there's something so refreshing about doing something like visiting a museum or an art gallery that can really give you a new perspective on your world. And so I encourage you to do that. Here's a suggestion that I know is going to be extremely hard and don't be pissed off at me for suggesting it, but I want you to put down the phone for two hours every day. Just two hours. Now, two hours seems like a long, long time for many of you. I get it. I get it. But you know what? You know the value of putting it down and having a little time away from that cell phone. You know how that makes you feel. You know that it can be frustrating at first, but if you get into the regular habit of that, you're going to experience so much more life. And I can't think of a better way to put a spring in your step than by just leaving the phone alone for just a couple of hours. Now, as we're moving towards the end of today's podcast, I want you to recall why you wanted to be an actor in the first place. Why? What happened to you that made you say, gosh, I would really love to be an actor? Think about that. And then I want you to spend time with that thought, whether it was an experience as a young person, maybe it was a play you were in in, in elementary school that it made you feel different, or perhaps you saw somebody in performance and said, I want to do that. Whatever it is, spend time in your head about that. What made you want to do that? And then think about that experience. Recall that experience. Listen, it always surprises me when I don't remember to take on these suggestions. I make these suggestions and I'm not always good at them myself. Sometimes it's much, much more of a struggle. I guess we are, after all, creatures of habit. You see, I think it, it's clear that we assume it takes energy we don't have to do these uh, additional things. When you know what? I've discovered that the opposite is true. When you decide to put spring in your step, Amazing energy finds itself into your soul and your outlook then becomes open to endless creative possibilities. Let me know what you thought of this podcast. I'm Jeffrey Dreisbach. This is Casting Actors Cast. It's been great having you in our talent pool today. Your support means the world to us. So please consider sharing, liking, and reviewing this episode wherever you jump in. I'm Megan Grace Martinez. Thanks.